good morning we are going to start oracle sessions so here we will be discussing about sql pl sql basic sql advanced pl sql advanced performance tuning basic performance tuning advanced so these are the topics which we will be covering in our oracle sessions sql basic part pl sql basic part sql advanced part pl sql advanced part performance tuning basic as well as advanced so let us start with the introduction part of sql as part of sql we will be covering the topics of the introduction commands data types clauses constraints operators functions joins subqueries and other database objects so these are the main topics which we will be covering in sql and we will be covering all these topics in depth and practical oriented let us start with the introduction part of oracle or sql first the oracle history oracle has released the version 2 directly in 1979 so we do not have oracle version 1 they have started officially version 2 directly into the market next version 3 in 1983 version 4 1984 version 5 1985 version 6 1988 and version 7 1992 version 8 1997 8i 99 9i 2001 10g 2004 11g 2007 and 12c which is the latest one in 2014 these are the different versions of oracle what we have in our database starting from oracle 8i they have started with oracle 8i release 1 release 2 release 3 and 9i onwards they have two releases in each version 9i release 1 release 2 10g release 1 and release 2 11g release 1 and release 2 as of now they have released 12c release 1 into the market in 2014 here up to oracle 6 is dbms oracle 7 is the first official dbms next oracle 8 which they have included jvm that is java virtual machine which is inbuilt in oracle database next 8i i stands for internet so this is internet based applications like we can interact with the internet from the i versions directly without using the browser so examples like sending an email receiving an email uploading attachments downloading attachments this kind of things can be performed from oracle application or oracle database directly without using the browsers next 9i and 10g g stands for grid computing here so when it come to the grid computing so multiple database servers can be connected together at higher level we can see this as a single database but actually there are multiple disks involved in it next 12c c stands for cloud so whatever the database we have that can be uploaded into the cloud and we can access the database from the cloud directly various databases we have in the market along with oracle so the first column says the company name second one is the database product of that company next third column is the languages what they have the first one is sql and the second one is pl sql so the first company is oracle their database product is oracle their 
SQL language name is SQL and procedural language is PL slash SQL. Next is Microsoft, which is SQL Server, SQL and TSQL. T stands for Transact or Transactional SQL. Next is IBM. Their database product is DB2. Their languages are SQL and SQL PL. Next, Sun Microsystems. This was the former company. Now it is taken by Oracle. They have one database called MySQL. Their languages are SQL and PLSQL. Sybase was the former company. Now it is taken by SAP Labs. Their database product is Sybase. Languages are SQL and TSQL. Apart from these databases, we have some other databases into in the market. MongoDB, MS Access is also a database. FoxPro, which was the older database. Mainframe, a kind of database. Teradata and Big, Big Data. In this, some of the databases we use NoSQL. Next, Informix, Postgre, DBase. These are some of the databases what we have in the market. Let us start with the fundamentals of database. First, data. What do you mean by data? Data is a fact, a simple fact. So it does not relate to anything, a kind of raw material or raw object. A simple fact is called data. Next, the collection of data is called information. But when we call, when we talk as information, there should be some meaning for that. So collection of meaningful data is the information. Database is the collection of data. So whenever we refer to the database, it is always the physical database. Phys we are referring to the physical data. So the collection of data is a database. But when we talk about database, the data, whatever we store inside the database must be interrelated. Means there should be some relation between one data and the other data. That is why the collection of interrelated data is the database. So we always refer to the physical storage space when we refer to the database. Next, database management. <coughs> communication to and from the database is database management. That is communication to the database and communication from the database. That is, we communicate to the database in the form of requests and responses. For every request, there will be a response from the database server. We give the instructions in the form of re request to the database server and from the database we get responses for each and every request whatever we send to the database. So as part of the communication, as part of the database communication, we will be performing our we will be performing some of the basic operations over there. So one is read operation, write operation. Read operation is nothing but reading the data which is already present inside the database. That is in the form of select. We are selecting the existing data in the database and write operations include inserting new data into the database, deleting existing data in the database and modifying or update the existing data in the database. So we perform both read and write operations on the data which is present in the database. So write operations include insert update and delete that is modifying the existing data and we can also perform this is also called as manipulation of data either manipulation or modify or update next we also perform the join between the data whatever is stored in the database so now as part of database communication we will be performing storing of data that is in the form of insert retrieving the data through selects 
deleting the data through delete operation and modifying the data or manipulation of existing data in the database and we can also do sorting that is rearranging of data either in ascending order or descending order based on the particular attribute or column next join operation among the data or between the tables whatever is stored in the database <coughs> next sql sql is a language database knows only sql database does not understand any other language apart from sql so sql is the language which is used to communicate with the database server since database can understand only sql we have to use sql statements to interact with the database server sql will always use statements we do not write any programs or we do not write any procedural steps within the sql we always write statements to communicate with the database always SQL requires an environment. This environment will be either SQL Plus or iSQL Plus or Toad or SQL Developer or PL SQL Developer or any other IDE environment. So mostly SQL and IS, SQL Plus and iSQL Plus. These are Oracle proprietary. These are already available with the database server. So mostly we use SQL Plus or iSQL Plus. So through this SQL plus or iSQL plus, we will be implementing the language features of SQL in the form of statements to communicate with the database server. SQL, this is the language we already know that which is used to communicate with the database server because database server can understand only SQL. The full form of SQL is structured query language. This can be pronounced as SQL or SQL. SQL was the old name and SQL is the name which is given by ANSI. SQL is a non-procedural language. What do you mean by non-procedural here? See, we know that within the SQL, we always write statements. We do not write any program or we do not write any procedural steps or step by step process. That is why SQL is non procedural language. Let us take an example. Select cell from EMP where employee number equal to 101. Now the possible output of this particular statement when we talk about the positive response is could be the salary column will be displayed from employee table for employee number one which is take an example thousand this is on positive side now if you talk about the negative side when we execute the same statement if the table is not present in the database then we get the message like table does not exist. When the table is not present in the database, we get the message like table does not exist. Now table is present. The column is not present in this table. The column may be some other, maybe salary, full name or sal1. It's not SAL. So in that case, we get invalid identifier or invalid column name table is present but the column is not present in that particular table in that case we get invalid column name but actual message will be invalid identifier it is not able to understand the word salary from emp table now table is present column is also present but there is no data in the table table is empty so in that case, we get no rows selected. When the table does not have any data, we get no rows selected like zero rows selected. 
Now, table is present, column is present, data is also present. In that case, we get the actual salary value from the table, whatever is present or whatever is stored in the database. See, for the same statement, for one single statement, we are getting four different types of output messages. That is why SQL is non-procedural. See, we are not defining any step-by-step -step process. If column is, if table is not present, display this message. If table is present and column is not present, display this message. If table is present, column is present and there is no data in the table, display this message. Or if everything is present, display this message. This kind of step-by-step -step process we are not defining in SQL. Everything is predefined to the compiler. So when we talk about compiler here, which is database server. Since everything is predefined, so we need not bother about the step-by-step -step process here. So we just write the statement and execute it according to the situation.